What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. Yep, you heard me right, PlayStation 4 tutorial, I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but unfortunately the scene has been kind of dormant recently, not much has really been happening, um, but luckily Lightning Mods has kind of uh, broken the silence and released a new way of installing package files using a payload called Infinix. So it's similar to the remote package installer in that it allows you to install package files remotely over your network connection, but it doesn't require a separate homebrew app like the package installer, the remote package installer, um, to install the package files. It's all done through this uh, payload. So yeah, it's another way of installing package files remotely. So how do we actually set this up? So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your settings because we need to add some DNS settings. So we're going to go to network settings and we're going to set up our network connection. Use whatever you normally use, you know, Wi-Fi or LAN. Select custom. And then select automatic IP, do not specify DHCP, do a manual DNS, and then enter one of these two IP addresses here as your primary DNS server. So I add them both, one is the primary, one is the secondary, it doesn't matter which, which one is which, they both do the same thing. So you want 165.227.83.145 or 108.61.128.158. So enter one of these two IP addresses as your primary DNS or enter them both here, one is your primary and one is your secondary, and then click next and then do automatic MTU, do not specify a proxy server, and then you're done. And then you can just, you know, view connection status to make sure you have a valid IP address and that uh, you're connected to the internet. So having those DNS server addresses entered is important for this to work. It also adds some other features as well, like uh, going to the user guide will now redirect you to the exploit page. So instead of going to the user guide, it redirects you here. Plus, whenever you try and launch any of your games, it will no longer give you the prompt to, you know, either update now or update later. It will just launch the game straight away, so you don't have to worry about that as well. So it's a good idea just to have those DNS addresses added anyway, even if you're not going to use Infinix that often. But it is required for Infinix to work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run Infinix. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to look like it's not going to work here. You're going to get some... Uh, ominous messages here saying the plugins not installed and then it just says bye so it has worked it has ran and it has set up an FTP server on the PS4 so we can connect via FTP um, but what we have to do is we have to install a plugin and you can either do this manually or you can use uh, Lightning Mod's own package installer tools to install the payload automatically well that's the easiest way so we're going to go ahead and do that so if we head over to the computer here and we head to Lightning Mod's GitHub page. So what we're going to do here is we're going to download the tool, so the package installer tool. So there's one for Windows and one for Android. So if you want to do this on an Android tablet or uh, Android phone, then you can go ahead and install this. If you're on the Google Play Store, just search for Dark Software LLC and you'll find it. But if you're going to be installing package files from your computer, then you can download the Windows tool he's got which is the PS4 package installer tool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this. If you just head to the releases page, you can download it. I'll put the links in the description, of course. So I've got the tool downloaded here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder just called um, package installer. And we'll extract all the files from this zip file into the folder. And then we'll run the tool, desktop app, enter the IP address of your PS4 into the host box. You can click the save button so it saves the IP address for the next time you open it. And then open the package file that you want to install. So I've got Minecraft here that I'm going to install. There we go. So I've selected Minecraft. And then what you want to do is select the install payload option. And when you click that, that will install the payload. And there you go. As you can see, it says receiving payload plugin from client. Now, if that message does not doesn't pop up and it just freezes and then like, you know, a few minutes later, it says something about the connection timing out, then you're best to just like restart your PS4 and then run the Infinix payload again and then try and install the payload plugin. So what that's done is it's copied a SPRX file over to the hard drive, which is required for this to work. So now that that's done, 
Um, what you want to do is run the Infinix payload again. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close out of the browser. So press circle to close out of it completely and then run the Infinix payload again a second time. If you click install package and you don't run Infinix the second time then it is going to cause a problem. But as you can see this time it says welcome and it's just got the IP address popping up so it no longer gives you the same message about it not being installed. So the plugin has been installed successfully. And I must stress that if you just click install package um, without running Infinix a second time, it might not work. You know, it might say that it's installing, but it doesn't actually install the package file. So that's why you should close Infinix payload after you install the plugin and then relaunch the payload again a second time once the plugin's installed, and then it should be ready. So now it should work. And that you don't have to install the plugin every single time. That plugin is now on the hard drive. It's an SPRX file on the hard drive. So every time you run the Infinix payload from now on, uh, the plugin's already installed. So it will just be ready to install a package file. So now we can install the Minecraft package file right here. So I can just go ahead now on the PS4 package installer and click install package right now. Okay, and there it goes. As you can see, it starts copying the file. And that's it, it's copied the file over and now it's going to install it. So it gets added to downloads, package via FTP, fully received. And if I press the middle button, it should start installing Minecraft at any point. So what it has to do, so that first uh, green bar of it loading, is it transferring the file from the computer to uh, a location on the hard drive. Once it's copied it to the hard drive, it then has to go through the installation process to install it. Uh, onto the system itself. Yep, there you go. So as you can see, if we head into downloads, you can see it is installing the program. There you go, it's installing Minecraft. Okay, there we go, as you can see, it works. We've got Minecraft installed, transferred over using FTP. So you can install package files over FTP uh, using Infinix. So it is a pretty cool uh, system. And of course, there's the Android app as well, which is useful. I'll see if I can put some screenshots up of it. Uh, basically, it's got the same options as the PS4 package installer. You just put in the IP address of your PS4, uh, open the package file, and then install the package file. And uh, you just have to have your PS4 connected to the same network as your phone. You can even create a hotspot on your phone and connect the PS4 to it if you don't have a, a router nearby. Uh, and then you can install the package files that way. So that works as well. So it is very convenient in that sense. Um, plus HEN is built into the Infinix payload as well. So you don't have to run HEN. It doesn't really kernel panic that often. I haven't had any kernel panics from it. Normally, if you're going to be running like different payloads, you have to run HEN first and then run another payload if you're going to be using something else. Um, and that, you know, running two payloads back to back often causes uh, kernel panics. Whereas with this, HEN is built in. So you can use Infinix plus uh, get the homebrew enabler up and running in one payload so you're less likely to you know have a system crash uh, by kernel panic so that's useful as well but that doesn't mean it's perfect there are some issues um, and the remote package installer does have some advantages in uh, some areas as well over this so some of the problems with this mainly the fact that it uses FTP and the FTP in the PS4 is pretty unstable uh, half the time you know you'll load up the FTP uh, payload um, and then you'll try and connect to it on an FTP client and it will just keep timing out and even if you rerun the payload it will still keep timing out because you have to reboot the PS4 and then run the FTP payload again in order for it to actually work sometimes um, and that same thing can happen with the Infinix payload as well where it will just keep timing out and you'll have to reboot your PS4, relaunch the payload, reconnect um, and that can be a hassle when that happens and it does happen you know too often. Uh, but that's just a problem with the FTP on the PS4. It's, you know, nothing you can really do about that, I guess. But then also, it's a lot slower for installing package files this way using Infinix. But trying to install a game like, say, Fallout 4 on Infinix, which I tried earlier, and uh, it took quite a while. It took about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, to transfer the game over from the computer to the console and then it had to install it after that which took about another 10 or 15 minutes so yeah it takes a lot longer to install package files but if you're just installing homebrew apps and emulators and smaller package files it's not really a problem but if you're going to be installing big games like AAA games then 
you're probably better off still using the remote package installer for those. Um, but yeah, maybe this will improve in future. So anyway, pretty cool thing. You can now install package files using a payload uh, over FTP. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I know you guys want me to do more PlayStation 4 videos. It's difficult when there's not much really going on in the scene right now. I might do a video on Orbis AFR. I've always been meaning to do a video on it, but the payload is... Um, kind of unstable well it's, it is unstable um, and it has a few problems but I don't know maybe if I could draw more attention to it so that uh, maybe some other developers will take up uh, you know actually trying to make a better version of it or a version that's stable because something like Orbis AFR that actually works reliably would be great they would just be amazing I don't know why more developers aren't trying to make it because yeah, it'd be incredibly useful. So I might do a video on that um, in the near future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.